Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malaysia Hayward. I am the Bougie Bookkeeper. The Bougie Bookkeeper is a full service bookkeeping firm where we help small to medium sized businesses with the tools and expertise that they need to create their automated bookkeeping systems. We also offer monthly bookkeeping services and also quarterly bookkeeping services where we 100% take on the bookkeeping tags for you so that you can worry about the big dreams, which is a successful business. And we also offer consulting services where we not only help you understand your numbers, but how to use your numbers to increase your overall profitability. And today what we're going to do is we're going to go into QuickBooks and I'm going to show you how to add a customer and how to add a vendor to your QuickBooks. So when you log into QuickBooks, you will go, you will have the screen pop up or you will have whatever screen you set for your home pop up. So to add a vendor, there are the number one way that you want to do this is you can actually go to get things done right here. You can scroll down, hit add customer, add vendor. That's like one way that you can do it. Another way that you can do it is you can hit get paid or pay. Get paid to get paid. That's my tab, y'all. So if you want to add a customer, you can click right here, hit customers. You can also bookmark this if you hit that. This will show up then at the bottom down here where it says under menu settings, but it was right here, it says customers. So it's an automatic uh, find for you. You don't have to go to this, you can click down here. So I'm gonna move this down so you guys can see. I'm actually gonna take myself off screen. So you, so when you log into here, this will give you, provide you a list of the different customers that you have. All these customers are set up based on what you do. So you wanna click new customer we're going to click on that and then you're just going to fill in all your customers information their name last name company name uh display name email mobile number anything you need name to put on check address notes payment information additional information all that good stuff um it's getting added right here so let's say you have a customer who is before you even add in a quickbook they have a balance that they owe you can go right here and put that balance in so after you add that, all you're going to do is going to click where it says save and it will automatically save and then it will pop up here. Now, one thing that I do like about QuickBooks uh, is that you can do a lot of the transactions. Let's say you have to bill a customer or you receive a payment for a customer. It will all show up here. And what this open balance tab is, if a customer owe you any money. So let's say you went in and you put in an invoice for a customer and they owe you money. It will pop up here until you hit receive payment. Once you hit receive payment, then you can go ahead and put that information in, match, match it with the bank transaction so that then it can look like this at a zero. But the other option that you have to do here is you can send a reminder. Let's say they owe you something and you need to send them a reminder. You can. You can create a statement based on just this or a report based on just this customer. You can create invoices for here. Um, you create sales receipts. So let's say they pay you something in cash or pay something in check and you just need to do a receipt for that. You will do it here. If you're a business that do estimates, you can do it here. Send a payment link. QuickBooks does offer um, it where you can send invoices and they can pay you for the invoice. That's something that I use for my company and I love. Now, if you need to delete a customer, you can't necessarily delete a customer in QuickBooks, but you can make them inactive where they don't show up. Um, also, one thing is once you send this payment link, it will also show you, once you click on the invoice, it will show you when they looked at it and what time they looked at it. So that's a feature that I love with QuickBooks because people can't tell me that they didn't see my invoice so they didn't get it. It will show me when they received it and when they opened it and every time that they open it. So shout out to QuickBooks for that. But, and up here, this is a bar. It will show you the amount of estimates you have, unbilled income. So income that, you know, is owed to you, but you haven't built the client yet. Um, overdue invoices, so anybody who owes you but haven't paid you yet, but you sent out those invoices. 20 open invoices mean the due date hasn't passed um, and they still have time to pay you. Credits mean this is stuff that, you know, you have returned back to your clientele. And then recently pay all the people who has paid their invoice. Now, the next option, if you want to do, you want to scroll down to where it says vendors. This is how you now add a vendor. A vendor is anybody who... You are buying supplies from uh, things of that nature. Again, it shows you the list of vendors. 
Now, one thing I love about QuickBooks is that you can get you can send them their 1099s from QuickBooks. You just need their email address and they can get their 1099s when it comes to tax season. This will show you any purchase order. Again, this is when you sent out an order for a purchase, any overdue uh bills that you owe, any open bills that well, these are overdue. Any these are any open bills, any bills that are um they're not quite due yet, but you can pay them at any time. And then this is all the bills and uh, invoices that you've paid in the last 30 days. So if you want to add a new vendor, we're just going to click new vendor. It's similar to customer. You set up all the information for that vendor in here, address, notes, and any type of opening balance that you owe. And it's the same as, uh, it's a little bit different than it is customers. You click on this and it will give you, it's different options. So you can create an expense because this is a vendor, this is anybody that you owe. You can write a check to them from QuickBooks, you can create a purchase order, or you can make them an active. Very similar to customers, only it is a vendor. Again, you can pay your 1099. You can also pay bills from here, and you can order checks. So if you owe any, uh, any type of vendor, you can pay that from QuickBooks as well. Um, also, I want to show you contractors. Let's say you have a 1099. So this is not somebody that you pay payroll taxes for. They are responsible for paying their own. You will want to go, so they have prepared 1099s, add contractors, or pay contractors. So quick listed at the feature where you can now pay your contractor. So we're going to add a contractor. See, now you just add the name of the contractor and their email. This What this will do is it will send an email to the contractor, and they have to fill out their W-9 themselves. The W-9 is, is opposite of what a W-2 is. It's similar but opposite. So a W-2 is something you give your employees that they will fill all their tax obligation information on and then they know their tax obligation at the end of the year. A W-9 is almost as similar for that, similar to that, but it is for contractors. So just add their name, the email. They will get the, all the information um, to be able to send. Well, excuse me. They will receive the information and they have to fill it out. And once they fill it out, it will automatically be added to QuickBooks. So make sure you hit add uh at the contractor here and then it once they fill it out it will automatically be added so where it says w9 right here it's already added you can look at the last time you paid them you can write them a check from here again create an expense or create a bill um bills are different from expenses bills are going to be anything like your light bill your water bill um things of that nature you can add those here you can do it as an expense that is fine as well but QuickBooks likes to do it as a bill. So if you need to add that bill here, manage reoccurring bills. Again, those light bills, the gas bill, the water bills, the rent, anything like that, you can add that here. All right, you guys. So that is how you add vendors and customers and contractors to your QuickBooks account. Pretty simple. QuickBooks makes it pretty simple. But again, if you're somebody who just needs somebody to come in and do all of this for you, you don't even want to worry about it. We are the gals for you. So make sure you head over to thebougiebookkeeper.com and schedule a free consultation with me. Now, let's say that you just need somebody to come in and train you. You're one of those people that says, hey, if you just show me how to do it, then I can do it. I do do one-on-one -on -one trainings. Just go over to the www.bougiebookkeeper.com www.thebougiebookkeeper.com and schedule that time with me. Um, I also as well set up QuickBooks. So if you're somebody who just needs your QuickBooks set up and you can take it from there, I do that as well. If you need somebody to come in monthly or quarterly, just do the bookkeeping for you to keep it up to date. I do that as well. Um, if you need somebody to train your staff, we do that as well. So we are full of service here. But it's also if you need somebody to come down and actually go over and advise you and do consulting, we do that as well. So head over to www.thebougiebookkeeper.com. Also, make sure you follow me on all social medias at thebougiebookkeeper.com. I will see you guys in my next video.